The amount of properties landlords own should be capped. A landlord should be able to own 100,000 properties if he fucking wants. Agree, 100%. I'm building right now a block of 48 houses. Should I be allowed to do that? You should be allowed to build them. And then but what? you shouldn't be allowed to profit from them. <laughs> Why? Why? That's how you know this girl is a hater. So he, he should be allowed to build them, but he shouldn't be allowed to profit them. Why are you worried about this guy making any money? I know for a fact this girl, because not everyone that rents is poor, but I know this girl is poor. I know she looks at people who are MPs earning 200 grand a year and think, well, why do they need to earn 200 grand a year? And uh, I know this girl is poor. She just oozes brokenness. She just oozes consumerism. How many properties do you have? Hundreds. Hundreds? Yes. Right. So you are probably making a significant income from all of those properties. If I wasn't making money from building properties, I wouldn't do it. And if no one does it, guess what? There's going to be way less supply. And How can you tell a man that he's not allowed to make money or yeah, build, invest in property, build properties and not make money? Crazy. It's going to be 10 times the price and you're going to be moaning about it even more. You shouldn't profit off them as a landlord. So what you're saying, I should be forced to sell them all, but I can make a you profit in get selling a job. them? This is what... Mm, you know, if I didn't like paying, I would have hit my head a lot harder than this, you know. Let's peel that back, dog. I can't. This girl is fucking crazy. Is it, this is what I'm saying, yeah? When you get to a certain level, you have to avoid certain people, yeah? I cannot... God forbid, yeah, like, I, I, I knew someone like that that I have to interact with every day. Fucking hell. I don't want to be around anybody. Like, I hate people who are simple like this. And I've been to people's houses. Like, I know, man, and I, I, you get me? I know people who have got their significant other and that. And they're a simple-minded person. I remember I was at someone's house and I was saying, like, ah, oh, there's one youth hostel. Like, I can't remember I was talking about, oh, yeah, youth hostels are, 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 are ratchet and that. And then this person come and say, well, I, I know there's a youth hostel around the corner and it's quite nice inside. It's like, shut the fuck up, man. Shut up, bro. You're talking about one nice youth hostel in a nice posh area. I'm talking about youth hostels on the ends, blood. You know, these simple-minded people. You can't, you can't have certain in conversations around certain people, man. And you're going to be moaning about it even more. You shouldn't profit of them as a landlord. So you're saying I should be forced to sell them all, but I can make a profit in get selling a job. them? Get a job. So no one's allowed to own a business. Fuck, you know. Well, obviously, she doesn't own her own business because why would someone who owns their own business tell someone who owns their own business, get a job? You want them to be a brokey and a wagey just like you. But anyway, let me cost you, by the way. This is way more important than most jobs. This is the very thing that you have a problem with, which is the lack of supply of properties. I'm there yeah. building these properties and you're saying, go get a job. What yeah, the that heck? should be funded by the government. The supply of properties should be funded by the government, not by people who have to pay more money to you and put it in your personal pocket. My landlord, right, owns my whole building. There's four flats in it, including my own. From my building alone, he earns £60,000 a year. Double. Is that it? That's double what the average UK salary is. Good for him. He deserves that. Significantly money. more than what I earn. And then I put 60% of my income straight into his pocket. Good. And I will never buy a house because that money, I will never see that money. I'm giving money to... You have put yourself in the position to never buy a house. It is your fault. It's your fault. Someone, right, for a place that I don't own, that I can't make changes to, that I can't paint, I can't, you know, decorate, I can't put things on the wall without permission, I can't have a pet without permission. But the thing is, everything you're saying boils down to, I want the government to help me. Every, the gov I was talking about this the other day in a video. You either take control of your life or someone is going to take control of your life. At some point, your life is going to be controlled by someone. It's either going to be you or the government or someone else. Make sure it's you. I control my life there. Yeah? If you don't take control of your life, someone is going to seize that opportunity and take control of your life. And she's moaning about, oh, she can't have a pet in her house or her flat or whatever. It's because she's allowed someone to take control of her life. I can do what I want in this house. No one can tell me nothing because I've taken control of my life.